Sports on CBS2 Chicago. Good morning back here in Chicago at 825. I'm Jay Levine. Top stories coming up in a minute. But first, let's go to Monty for a forecast that has something for everyone, <laughs> unless you like sunshine. Well, that's right, Jay. It's pretty miserable outside now. Raining and uh, lots of wind blowing around, and our Stormwatch Doppler 2 radar showing some moderate to heavy rain getting ready to move into O'Hare. It's raining hard now at St. Charles and up in Palatine. Just kind of a soggy mess. Daytime high of about 44. That'll happen midday. Then temperatures falling this afternoon, and then we'll make some snow with the rain sometime around 6 o'clock this evening. All right, Molly, thanks. We begin this morning with an international story with Chicago Ties. The Associated Press reports the editor of the Russian edition of Playboy magazine has been shot and seriously wounded in Moscow. Playboy, of course, headquartered here in Chicago. No suspects so far and no motive either. Other news this morning back here in Chicago. The city going to court to try to get a crumbling skyscraper shut down. The building problems causing big trouble for anyone needing to get around the loop. Old pieces of terracotta have crumbled off that skyscraper at 188 West Randolph. That's at Randolph and Wells. City officials say the building just isn't safe. There's barricaded sections at Randolph and Wells. The closures are, in their words, indefinite. L trains are being rerouted. Rush hour service to the loop on the CTA's purple line is canceled until further notice. And on the brown and orange line, several stops are closed. We'll keep you posted on developments on the story throughout the day. And be back with a check of other traffic problems next. Right now, during traffic this morning, the hillside strangler getting worse before it gets better, right, Corey? Uh, exactly, Jay. Yeah, pretty much anywhere you go, you can just call it an hour for your trip into downtown. Pretty much an hour getting out of downtown. And once you're into the loop, plan on big delays all around because of those problems we've got at Randolph and Wells. CTA, also not much better. Thanks, Corey. Before we go, the census had good news for Chicago. For the first time since 1950, the city's population is increasing thanks to housing booms downtown in the South Loop and an influx of Latino residents to the northwest and southwest sides. Chicago's official population, just under $2,900,000. That's it for now. Another update coming up. But first, we go back to Bryant and Jane on The Early Show.